Hello everyone. Well, some of my viewers and followers already know that my YouTube channel has a dual purpose, primarily at the moment for doll and bear collecting, but also for piano performances and music teaching. So this video is about music. Now, because music and learning to play an instrument involves a lot of repetition and reinforcement, I like to change the theme often to keep it interesting and it encourages imagination and creativity. So this past week in the studio we had a dolphins and blue theme and it was inspired by a favourite book and movie of mine as a child, The Island of the Blue Dolphins. So of course not every student would do every activity, it depends on their age and level, what we're working on at the moment, how much time we have, but I keep plenty of things set up just in case. So this lovely plush toy here was simply for swimming from high to low and low to high across the keys. But I was very impressed that one little student swam in dolphin shapes and likened it to making rainbows across the keys with hand shape. Now I had a sachet of ocean fragrance in here. Sometimes it's nice for the teens and adults to have a little detail like that. We were able to make patterns and copy rhythms with right hand and left hand safely on the side of the piano because these mallets are covered in material and crochet cloth. I always keep buttons and counters nearby for making scale patterns and hand shapes, hand positions. I lost my little blue dolphin eraser somewhere so I substituted it this week with a blue koala and he was for locating the keys on the keyboard. Now to set the mood I also put up a lovely dolphin blanket just hanging on my screen there. And there are lots of floor activities. Now these are not usually spread out like this. They're tucked away more neatly and we just bring them out as we need them. But I've left them out to show you today. So there are some more soft toys over here. Sometimes a young one will just like to hold onto a plush toy while they're working. I have five or six of some things or early childhood group class which I haven't done much of in the past year but I hope to get back to that I've been missing it a lot have these blue plastic dolphin shapes they're just what we use on the bottom of a bath or a shower to stop slipping and they were for counting an octave and I try and keep enough to count two octaves. Sometimes we have to prove that it's 15 and not 16. Now I find that students love to use gems and rocks. So these are great, a nice swirly blue colour. And an activity might go something like if a crotchet or a quarter note is one beat, then add on a minim. Add on a dotted semi brief and so on. So they're doing some mental maths and thinking about the values of the notes and we brush up on the names. And even though here in Australia we say crotchet minimum semi brief, I still teach quarter note, half note, whole note as well. Now thanks to Joy from Colour in My Piano blog. I have these great alphabet flashcards in several colours now and I've laminated them. So we use them for alphabet activities 
responsible for making scales. So here's D harmonic minor. And I have two of everything, so I can have a quick game of snap or pairs with a younger student. I like to use swatters. So I have these really cool Australian shaped ones. So an alphabet activity might go something like, for a beginner, just find a G and snap a G. But later on, perhaps snap a step above an A step above a E is an F, a skip above a C is an E, and so on. I keep some manuscript and plain paper nearby in case we need to work on something. And this week, one of the things we were working on were intervals. So I have two of each interval card. So I might hold one up and say, find this one. Again, they can use the swatter. It's much more fun to spot than just to pick up. <laughs> and I keep a pointer nearby, so if there's any problem getting the distance correct, We'll count up carefully, make sure we include the one we start on and the one we finish on. And I would take these up to the piano and we'd play them. And for older students, they'd have to talk about the quality as well as the distance. And over here, nothing much blue about act this activity except for the container that I keep these flashcards in. I made these myself. So that was for older students, a quick revision on cadences and the matching chord progressions. So I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.